All right, no stalling on the title screen for a million years. We have game to play. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Pokemon Y challenge run thingy that we've been doing for 18 weeks now. Yep. Nah, shouldn't be too much longer. We've got, uh, uh, we've got the, um, well, we've got the main plot out of the way. Now we have to complete one, uh, eighth of the game's overall structure and then rush off to the, uh, the end game. I suppose we're in falling action now. I didn't mean to start on story on chatter right away, but here's chatter. Oh, that's it. Thank you for joining us, and um, nah. Uh, oh right, we got uh, Mount Clouds back in. I should probably dump Punch Santa, huh? Yeah, okay. Alright, so uh, we are en route to Coraway Town, which... Da, 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 tum -ti -tum. Somewhere in here is a map. Now, if I were a map, and I have accessed it, again, once a week for, friggin' where is it? Oh, this is embarrassing. Uh, map, 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 map. Map? No, that's the save button. Good grief, how did I? All right, we are going to fly. Well, that's, that's egg on my face. I said we are going to fly. Corway Town's just right there. Okay, so uh, just real quick, we're in Anastar, which had the seventh gym. After a detour, we're back here. We're going to Corway Town. The eighth gym is in Snowbell City, so that is our main goal. No. No. You can't prove that. Why? Why would you say that? The road up ahead was all riddled with tunnels from a horde of Durant. It took forever to fix, but I guess they were just doing what they love. It's good to live the life you want, but not if it's troubling other folk. That's what we call selfish, that is. No. Wait, what, what was this again? This is Route 18, a.k.a. Uh, Vele et, uh, Etroit way? I think that's... Oh, I don't know what that is at all. Never mind. A whole lot of fluff for nothing. Roads of rock, roads of steel, here we walk, happy we feel. I'll take this hyper potion. I'll do a little Yui here. And we'll fight this kid anyway. With my shorts on, there's no stopping me. I can go anywhere. Youngster... I think we did way early on, but I guess this is Revenge of the Shorts. Oh, actually, this is a decent matchup. All right, Punch Santa, fly! Oh. Well, 
that's uh, already a bad start. Fly punch Santa! But mean it this time! I'm gonna risk it! Whoop, no. Wait. Oh. Bad! Very bad! Yes! But I think she's about to faint. We all knew you could do it, Punch Santa. Uh, let's get Dragoon some experience. Pincer? Oh shoot, I should have gone with Candle Jack. Yeah! Well, I suppose Pincer... Oh, superpower, there we go. Punch! Alright, let's just burn it alive. Sir, it's not a trainer can't go anywhere if his Pokemon are feeling down. Alright, I didn't actually want to do that, but that's okay. Actually, I think I need to get more Moo Moo Milk. Oh yeah, I do. Alright, well, I'll make a quick detour for that then. So this is, uh, um, this is going to be dating, uh, uh, this, uh, session a little bit, but, um, the um, uh, Mario Golf Super Rush uh, trailer or uh, uh, friggin' features video just came out this uh, today. Uh, it looks so good. I just had a grin plastered on my face the whole time. Is it too much to hope for a resurgence uh, for uh, of um, Mario sports titles? Uh, having not played it, impressions I got for sitting on the outside was definitely that it uh, was a step in the right direction, or a step back to, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, b back to form? A return to form. Oh, sure. Hey, yeah, SG. Oh, wait a s- Hmm. Awkward. I haven't been playing game audio this whole time. Oh. Oops. That's okay. We're back. Uh, you've been dis playing though, so we've just been talking over a quiet game. It's fine. But we're good now. I don't think we- Yeah. It's okay, glad to have you as long as you can stay here, SG. Yep. Always nice to have friends. 
All right, so this should be a bit for a bit. But yeah, uh, Mario Tennis Aces, um, with all the meter management in that game, it's like actually. I'm not normally super into tennis, but I could get into that game a bit because there was str there was strategy I could clearly see with when you use your meter and stuff. Sure. Tennis as a whole, I generally find doesn't work too well in video games, just because it's so much about where you hit the ball, and it's not exactly difficult to hit it in a different place in a video game, mm -hmm. whereas it would be in real life. So it's kind of hard to uh, represent that in a video game. So adding all of this meter management and like breakable rackets and stuff is a good way to give it some depth and even if it's in a different kind of way sure yeah you basically have to go um you have to go for a very technical game in order to do literal tennis uh well yeah which you can do but mario isn't a series that or mario spin-offs aren't really technical by nature yeah, it would be kind of annoying, I think, especially for young kids to need to be that precise with how they hit the ball and whatnot. Bounce? Huh, okay. Bounce is a weird move. Yeah. Especially considering it's one of the only moves that Magikarp can learn. Oh, that's right. Probably the best one it can learn. I think it usually does more damage than Flail does even when Flail is low HP. I mean, Magikarp isn't exactly, uh, uh, doesn't exactly have a lot of hit points, so Flail ain't gonna be right. doing much most of the time. Alright. Alright, let's mix in Hex. Yeah, but weirdly, it's, uh, I think with, uh, the new Mario Golf, it's, uh, Pauline that I'm most excited to see. Yeah, I, I like that she's... she was in Mario Tennis Aces, but I think now she's definitely a spin-off staple. Like, she'll be, probably be in Mario Party and stuff after this and Mario Kart. Yeah, she feels like one of the gang now. Yeah. Which, it's always fun to see a character just become one of the gang. We haven't really uh -huh. had that since, um... I haven't really had that since Rosalina. Yeah. Uh... It seems like they're making an effort to, um... Introduce more and more female characters, which is nice. <laughs> Let me tell you about my brother's mysterious power. With it, he can reverse Pokemon type matchups. It's really crazy. Normally, a fire type move would be super effective against a grass type Pokemon. But with my brother's mysterious power, it's the opposite! Fire type moves become not very effective against grass type Pokemon! What are you waiting for? Get out there and try to use as many super effective moves as you can. That's right. Ah, uh, I forgot that this is a thing. Oh, I wasn't expecting a visitor in a place like this. Hmm, you seem to be a pretty good trainer. Shall we have a rather strange Pokemon battle? I call this an inverse battle. With my mysterious power, I will reverse type matchups for a while. Super effective moves will not be very effective. 
moves that are not very effective will be super effective. What do you think? Does it sound fun? You may understand it in theory, but when you try it, you'll find that it's more difficult than you thought. Would you care to try an inverse battle? Okay, this is actually interesting. Why didn't they replace all of the sky battles with this thing? No, no. No, no. Is You do not diss sky battles, man. Super effective moves will not be very effective, and moves that are not very effective will be super effective. I would love to see this scattered around all over the place. Oh, Shed Inja is a fun Pokemon to use as a tutorial for this. Yeah. Alright, so normally I would want to go with Assurance because it's a ghost type, but since it's the Ed Ghost is weak to uh, Dark, but since it's all inversed, I actually want to do Slash. Yeah. Well, also, also a fast challenge. Also high level too. Hopefully I'm not getting over my head with this. Oh, yep, totally dead. Oh, you're weak <laughs> against it because it's ghost. Right up. Weird. Okay, so this would be useful if I had any punch guys, but I don't, so... Uh, let's go with... It has to be a super effective attack, which means it has well, to be something that would be resistant, which means I want to use Man Bear Pig's uh, Earthquake. Yeah... Since I imagine if it's a normally effective move, um, it would just it be... would be it would be super effective because uh, bug resists ground. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll try earthquake. There we go. Tink. <laughs> the meter just disappears entirely. I like that. Go go. Okay. Actually, we want to stay our ground since uh, we have uh, uh, since we ha have yeah, earthquake. Yeah, earthquake could work. Yeah, this Next. is really fun. You have to think about it in a different way. And mm -hmm. dig it. Why are they introducing it this late in the game? Well, because it's too difficult for dumb children to. Uh, uh, Oh shoot, he has Volt Tackle. I appreciate the game's cheating with moves. Like, sis like sincerely, it you kind of want to just turn the whole dang thing on its head. The, the game should shut off when it uses something that would normally be immune because you're dividing by zero. <laughs> sure. Okay, so... Electricity would be good. Yeah. Because grass normally resists electricity. And it's not Trick Room, so I still maintain Electrode's radical speed. Yeah, if it had Trick Room too, that would be wild. Ferrothorn. Ooh, okay. So with Ferrothorn, that's also an interesting pick, because since Ferrothorn is so defensive, you basically really want to hit it with fire, but that will do you no good whatsoever. Yeah. And in fact, if anything, it's steel typing as a curse in this instance. You just have to stay in that mindset of do the inverse. Yeah. I would love to see the meta game of this. It, it would just be wild seeing. Oh yeah, Ferrothorn totally unusable. Sorry. Mhm. Mm
Oh, but Fairthorn is still super defensive, so I can only do so much. It even has leftovers! Oh, this is a competitive team. I think this is my favorite battle in the entire game so far. Yeah, that's, um... That's... It's definitely a good argument for it. Yeah. Let's see, we'll switch to Celeste now and use Surf. Or Aqua Tail, I guess. Yeah. I, I just... It's so weird. I, I forgot what having to think in a Pokemon battle is like. <laughs> this is a bit like in uh, the second TCG game where they introduce uh, just random uh, uh, battle modifiers. Uh huh. That battle may have tired me out even more than my Pokémon. Great! You perfectly understand inverse battles, so I'll give you this. Now we can evolve our Dust Clops. I guess. The strange power that reverses type matchups. Unfortunately, I can't use it very often. Please come back tomorrow. So, it is unfortunately relegated just to this guy. As far as I remember, but you can at least fight him every day with uh, free, uh, no strings attached. Yeah, that's lame. I could have done so much more with that. What a shame. It's definitely something, though, which is really which. Is, if nothing else, that's neat. It's neat that they're yeah. trying ideas now. Yep. Listen. Or Stez. Isn't that the guy from Live Live? Or Stead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, definitely want to switch. Now I'm still in that mindset. I keep going, okay, I want to use Celeste because Stun Fist will be quadruple weak to water, but no, that's not how any of that works. It's not how it would work anyway. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Oh. I mean, it's normally weak to water, so it would be resistant to water and only doubly resistant. Not quad resist. Well, it, it doesn't electricity resist water. Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, man bear head. Wait. Electricity. Electricity resists electricity, flying and steel, and is weak to ground and does not interact with any other types. Okay. Oh. Silly me. I didn't realize I was dealing with a bouncy fish. Uh, try ice fang. Too fast. This is gonna hurt. No, it won't. Oh, paralysis. Frig. Oh, yeah, you sure showed me. He's a punch fish, too. I can just imagine him going on a dangerous quest to fulfill his revenge. This thing. <laughs> this looks like one of the least vengeful species, I don't know. 
I mean... Friggin'... Does that face look like a Brooks Mercy? <laughs> yeah, I'll use my full restore when it helps. I gotta say, I don't like most of the um, transfers to 3D. I think this is one of the worst, though. Stunfisk? Just, yeah. It just seems so... It really um, seems extra pixelated when it's that flat, somehow. Oh. Okay. Because I was going to say, it looks flat. Well, it's supposed to. It's a flounder. That's kind of their whole shtick. But no, that's fair. Yeah. And it always needs to be at the right camera angle, and... I don't think it works too well. I tell you the only reason I climb up a mountain is so I can enjoy going back down. Does that sound adequately hikerish? That's Wait. a pretty hikery thing. For okay. Me. Okay. Good. Oh. A whole bunch of ants. A, a uh, veritable ant colony, in fact. Ant doesn't resist the dark. Not anymore, anyway. Yeah. Oh boy, this is going to take a while. So I've been uh, playing a lot of uh, the new Pokemon Snap. Um, oh yeah? Yeah. Uh, it's like the original game, it's a perfect game for if you've just got like 10 minutes to sit down and play something. It's like, okay, well I'll just do a quick round through wherever. But um, I really like how it plays with... Um, or. I really like uh, some of the, um, how to put this, it does really interesting things mechanically with some of the Pokemon that now exist, uh, that didn't exist uh, back in the original Snap. Where like, in the original games you had a little bit of interaction with, okay, well this Pokemon does this thing, so, or it behaves in this way, so you can... So you have to uh, be wary of it, but otherwise it's mostly just looking for looking for dudes and prompting uh, fairly basic interactions. Uh, in the new Snap, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of playing off of Pokemon's specific behaviors to do things or to influence either the environments or other Pokemon around them. Uh, that, that's definitely what I want. That seems like uh, the core of. What made Pokemon Snap good? Mm -hmm. Like almost a puzzle game, but also a rail shooter. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's interesting because they uh, um, uh, they have a couple of, for want of a better term, basically boss stages where you're just focusing on one specific Pokemon, kind of like uh, kind of like uh, Rainbow. Drops or Rainbow Cruise or whatever it was in uh, uh, Rainbow Cloud in uh, the original game with uh, with Mew. Yeah, but I always liked that. I, I thought it was underutilized, but that was probably a highlight of that game. <laughs> uh, they have a they have a couple different stages like that, uh, and without getting into specifics of what each of those Pokemon are that are focused on. Uh, they do some interesting things with the Pokemon as a species, uh, and it's not like, oh, well, you're on the hunt for all the legendaries. No, it's just, they're just dudes. It's just whatever Pokemon. But they 
they very clearly chose specific Pokémon because of how they interact with their environment, and that lends to some, while very basic, really interesting mechanical um, challenges of, okay, well, because this Pokémon does this thing, then the player has to engage it in this way in order to prompt the best photos. That's really cool, yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I would not want it to just be all the legendaries because that worked with Mew, but you kind of had to be there to understand why it works with Mew. Because back then, kids were debating if Mew even existed. So yep. that made it that much more special. And. I just really like that it's a celebration of a lot of rando Pokemon. Like, uh -huh. it's wild that in this game, Bidoof is more important than Pikachu. Yeah. Super like, cool. Like, like, don't get me wrong, there's... Pikachu shows up uh, every now and again, it's like, okay, well... Obviously, you've designed neat thing, neat specific interactions for Pikachu to do, but why wouldn't you? But there's all sorts of other memorable interactions or behaviors that whatever Pokemon is doing, and it's like, oh, well, cool. Yeah. Um. So I've just been I've just been having a ton of fun with that. Um, I have to get it. That sounds like a lot of fun. Alright, friggin' finally. Now that there's only one of them, I can try to catch her. And the fact that you're still playing it when it's been out like a, a few weeks, right? Uh, yeah, a couple weeks now. A and I'm still... there's still... I'm still not at the end of the campaign. Yeah, I'm sure you haven't been like playing it every day, but still, it, that shows that it has enough longevity to... Um, make it worthwhile, which was probably the uh, weakness, the biggest weakness of the first game, is that you could get every Pokemon in an afternoon pretty easily. You Theoretically, you can do each of, uh, in the original Snap, you can basically do it all in one, maybe two runs tops. Yeah. Well, no, you need to do more than that just because of the uh, the Pokemon signs. Well, yeah, but you can uh, you can get those Pokemon signs um, on your first go through each time, can't you? No. No? Okay. No, you you have to um, you have to talk to you. Professor Oak at the end of the, uh... It, it, you have oh, to talk on. to Professor Oak. <laughs> come on! The one that I one-shot is the freaking last one! <laughs> Fucking hell. But yeah, you have, to, you have to talk to Professor Oak in Valley, and then he'll say, you need to go back and get all the signs. Okay. And you, you can't save the pictures any other way, so it has to be in that Oh, that's right. That's right. I remember because uh, my last playthrough, I kept getting the Kingler sign. I was like, why isn't the game counting this? Yeah. <laughs> Night Slash, that's a good one, I think. Oh, yeah. 70 with critical hit. Oh, yeah. I, I like that way more. I wanted a friggin' metal ant. Jeez the <laughs> Alright, we're not going to explore this a whole lot, but this is Terminus Cave. Uh, which is going... Um, 
we can actually explore most of this uh, place now, but it is one of the potential endgame spots. Uh, or, um, I'm mincing my words here. Um, this is where in the post game you can get uh, Zygarde. So I this see. would this would be uh, uh, this is likely one of the last things a player will explore um, during the game, kind of like Cerulean Cave or Unknown Dungeon, gotcha. if you prefer. Uh, gotcha. th though that said, we can very much explore most of it now. I'm just not gonna in the interest of time. Kind of a bit less dramatic that it's not like hidden away like Cerulean Cave is. Or what, that it's uh, hiding in plain sight the whole time? Yeah. It's just kind of right there. Yeah. I will give them credit though that Terminus Cave is a great name and it fits the Zygarde really well. Oh, absolutely. It is a boss name. Is Ghost super effective? Nope. Oh, right. Alright, well, let's switch to Celeste. Psychic, Fairy, and Flying are their weaknesses. That's it. Although, Poison resists Punch, guys. Well, as yeah, that's... As I recall. There is resistance. Uh, bug resists fighting, poison resists fighting, and ghost is immune to fighting. That's it. Oh, gotcha. and psychic resists fighting. I don't think fairy resists fighting, but I always forget fairy interactions. Likewise. Do we have timber? I probably could have caught uh, Girder there. Oh well. Trainer tips! The move Grassy Train boosts the power of grass type moves by 50%, but it only affects Pokemon that are touching the ground. Oh, so basically the terrains are supercharged versions of uh, weather. Yeah, they're effectively weather. No, that is not items either. Work with me. Yeah. That's why all of the Tapu Cocos, and Tapu Leles, and whatnot were good in um, Gen 7, as they really abuse the terrain moves. Okay. What is it? Uh, grass, Electric, Psychic, and Fairy? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh! Well, hello, Pupitar. Let's see if we can get you. one of these and hope for the best. Pupitar is such a weird Pokemon, gotta say. Larvitar makes sense, Tyranitar makes sense, and then Cocoon in the middle. I know Titar, of course, is supposed to be uh, Kaiju, but I'm blanking on a ton of Kaiju that actually go pupa besides Mothra, which is Mothra and completely different anyway. Yeah. I'm a tri metal claw. Nope. Wait, super effective? Metal beats rock? Yes. Oh, I guess I'll have to remember that. Steel beats rock. 
Rock is really lame defensively, which kind of sucks. Since it's a uh, type that very much wants to be defensive, looking at Gen yep. 1 Pokemon. It worked in Gen 1 where Normal was the best type in the game, but since then they haven't really played around it much. Is there any way to, uh, like, what would they have to do to make uh, Normal so relevant again? Uh... Boy, I don't know. Um... Hi, Lucas. Hey, Lucas. Uh, they would have to have a really good ghost type move that um, normals would be immune to. That's basically all I can think of. So basically, they'd have to be uh, defensive? Yeah. You must complete uh, your if they fit it in, like... Oh, hey, thanks for the, thanks for the sub, Lucas. Yeah. And yeah, it's been four months already. <laughs> been playing this game a while. Yep. Um, oh, uh, we're gonna need a name for this girder that we just caught. Yeah, give us a name while you're here. This Pokemon is so muscular and strongly built that even a group of wrestlers could not make it budge an inch. But yeah, it basically needs something like how Rapid Spin, um, blocking Rapid Spin is so important for ghost types. It needs oh. something like that. So like, maybe some sort of ghost trap. Yeah. There you go. That That's the move. It's ghost trap. It calls a bunch of Poyos down. Gerald. <laughs> Sure, okay. Gerald the Girder, welcome to the team. It also wouldn't hurt to just have like a really good normal type move. Or if they could bring back how good Explosion was. Why did they change that? I guess it was too good. No, oh no, I'm late, I'm late. Oh no, oh no, watch out, watch out! If they still had that, then Snorlax would probably still be decent. Snorlax, uh is still solid, isn't it? Not in competitive, no. Uh, I'm annoying my friends with puns right now, so may not chat much. Hey, entirely fair. I've been there. I think he dropped down to underused in Gen 5 and then never, never quite recovered. Which is a shame, because he was like, so much of a cornerstone to the game before then. This shows how much um, power creep. Power creep. Power creep. There was, yeah. Because Gen Two, especially, is if you can't handle Snorlax, you will lose. So you know this stream isn't a Snorlax. I'll take that as a compliment. School and somehow I ended up here. 
Um, the trainer school all the way back in the first gym town? So is... are there just a bunch of children who are extremely lost? Is that what we're dealing with? Alright, anyway, here I we are in so. Faraway Town. Oh, well, that... oh, never mind. You, you f fooled me with that camera angle for two seconds, game. I thought, <laughs> thought it was interesting. <laughs> you thought we were back home, didn't you? <laughs> Device that lets you become a Pokemon. Would anyone want to do that? Eh. Changing your hairstyle is like a form change for people. Oh, that's um, right. Is this the game that canonized that, uh, I guess, British spelling of form? I don't know. There, there were forms before then. There were, but I, I don't know if it's like one of those where... It's a fandom term that just kind of got adopted by... Um, yeah, I'm not the... sure about that. Powerful moves have fewer PP, which is short for power points. Accomplished trainers use PP up on such moves. I want to be loved! Do you have a Pokemon that uses Nuzzle? Aw, that's an electric type move. I think we have that. I love the ability warrior on TV. I wish I had a Pokemon's ability. Whoa, Protean! I wish that I were a Pokemon. Then I could live every day with him. Him? Uh. Okay. Ciao, my name is Nadia. I'm a fledgling rising star. What I have in my bag today is a cleanse tag. A cleanse tag is a very spiritual item. Let your lead Pokemon hold it, and you won't encounter wild Pokemon very much. I wish it had the same effect on me, too. I would say that bad things wouldn't hap won't happen to me thanks to the cleanse tag, and I would sell this much appreciated tag for 10,000 Poké Dollars. Then I would be rich. Kidding. Telling a lie is a bad thing. Let's have a great day, everybody. Keep watching. Actually, I want to help. Hello, it's time for the What's That Show, where we talk about wonderful items. Today we're talking about the Scope Lens. Watchy Watchog, have you heard of the Scope Lens? Come on, like I know. Amazing, you know it! Okay, well I'll explain it anyway. Holding the Scope Lens makes critical hits land more easily. The Razor Claw also makes critical hits land more easily. Okay, Watchy, pick whichever one you want. Hey, are we going to duel? Um, so, so are we understanding it, or is it like uh, joke subtitles, or oh. I don't know. Also, um, I I have to wonder if that woman was more explicitly the marrying Pokemon thing in the Japanese text. Oh, maybe. Are you familiar with the abilities that keep Pokemon from fleeing battle? They're super broken competitively. <laughs> Tee -hee -hee. Those abilities don't work on ghost type Pokemon. Oh, you mean moves, not abilities. But... No. You can't arena trap or spell tag friggin' d drift loon. I have two of the TM for you, turn. Here, I'll share one with you. It actually has kind of been a while since we've just had crap foisted on us, it feels like. I suppose that's the perks of it, rushing through a bad guy base, is there aren't too many NPCs who are like, Hey! You're a real jerk! Here's a- Have a free TM! Basically. <laughs> that guy's always changing his mind. One U-turn deserves another. Oh, she's just gone through a br uh, breakup. Uh, I wonder if this is like a Casablanca reference or something. Because of the train. He's looking at you, Ella Kid. Hello. I have to apologize about Lysanderoth. 
I'm very sorry for the trouble he caused. And I'd also like to thank you. I'm sincerely grateful for what you did for all of the Pokemon and the people of this world. And you know that whole killing Lysandra thing? A plus on that one. <laughs> he kind of sucked. I don't know what I ever saw in him. <laughs> and by stopping Team Flare, you also saved Lysandroth. From um, himself, I guess. Saved his immortal soul? Okay. It, it, I always... Go ahead. No, no, I, I, I got nothing. I always knew that he desired a per a beautiful world. And maybe someday the population of po people and Pokemon will actually increase to where resources become very scarce. If someone acts out of greed in such a world, surely some will go without. If all living things keep acting that way, there will be nothing left at all in the end. Why, there won't even be anything left to steal, will there? But what I really wanted was for him to put his ego aside and lead everything to greater heights. I never had this discussion with him, though, so I'm partially responsible for this. Well, enough of that, Deborah. I want you and your Pokémon to take everything you learned from your journey and hit me with your very best shot. So, Yosuke rank 10? Nah. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. Just, just punch each other in the face to build friendship. Nah, but yeah, so this is a follow-up to that battle way at the beginning of the game when we got our second starter. As you'll remember, he had level 10 uh, Kanto starters at that point. That would be clever, except I see that he has three Pokémon, so... He just has all three starters, I'm sure. Because it's a callback. Well, yeah, but you took one of them. Oh, I see. I Maybe he just had another. Maybe he gave us the other Blastoise, or whoever that he had. Or yes. Squirtle. Whatever. Oh, I should have roasted him. Regrets, Khan has a few. Now I can focus on the stream a bit more. Well, welcome, SG, for the first time. Okay. Blastoise. I think you don't get a bit sharp until like level 54 or something. It's really high. Maybe 52. I'm definitely feeling that. It's weird because uh, Pawneard was a mid game Pokemon, as I recall, in uh, Black and White. I think it was like mid to late, but I'm not positive. Fighting Professor Sycamore. Sure are. <clears throat> there we go. I kind of wish these fights didn't exist just because that would make Gen 7 more special. And it uses that idea much, much better. I don't think this takes away from that, to, to be fair. Like, I see what you're saying, but I think, um... I think it takes away from it slightly, just in the sense that 
That's not the first time you've ever done it, but it still is really cool. Like, um, one of the big uh, design intents is that um, Professor Sycamore is very hands-off with the uh, uh, with the uh, the player character, um, uh -huh. like how uh, uh, like how uh, you get your first starter from uh, uh, Shauna, basically, and, and it's yeah. less it's less presented as uh, you're going through the you're taking on the Pokemon League challenge and are being sponsored by a gym or a professor. Excuse me, sorry, like you are in previous generations, but this time it's more, oh, you and your friends decide you're going to go on an adventure, and you all get Pokemon at the same time. So yeah, that's fair. It hits a little different here. You are really something. You and your Pokemon have developed strong bonds by spending time together, and by caring about one another. That's why you and your Pokemon are so strong. Yep. Charizard used Wing Attack smacks you with tail. The strength you've found is simply marvelous, and... You truly love and trust your Pokemon. Deborah, a treasure of mine is hidden in this town. If you'd like, try to find it. Well, I'll be off then. I have many preparations I must attend to. I have a little surprise planned for all of you to thank you for fighting. Team Flare and saving Kalos. Okay, well I guess it's time for Treasure Hunt. Do you know anything? I really like the story of the Magikarp climbing the waterfall. I do like that story as well. <laughs> I guess that's it. Also, way, way to go, kids. You stopped fascism. <laughs> Going to do something nice for you guys. But first, I want you to find my thingy that I lost around here. Wait, hello. Are you the treasure? Oh, no. Hold up, hold up. I'm getting over there. Right? No, no. There it is. Ah, yes. His beloved burn heal. I don't think that's it. Wait, no, no, not good. Wait, no. Oh, duh. Don't think it's the pretty way. <laughs> what else are we working with? Now that's gonna be out of town. Wait. Wait, no, no, no. Get out of town. Wait. Do I have to be up? Maybe it doesn't count elevation. That's dumb, but let's see. <laughs> Professor Sycamore gets roasted a lot, so his burn heal is actually pretty important to him. <laughs> Aww. Wait. Very important regular Pokeball. Actually, I'm kind of surprised at how, just how much stuff there is lying about. I didn't realize yeah. the game just hid so much. Maybe they figure, well, Dowsing Rod's easier to use than a, a TM, so just go nuts, kids. Uh huh. Is there. Oh, there's more town over here. Watch, there's going to be just a single Pokeball in the middle of the road that shows up without needing the dowsing rod. Trainer tips! Pokemon lured to you by the item Honey, or the move Sweet Scent, will appear in hordes. 
Let's get photo up. Wait, there's dude. Wait, wait, somewhere around here. Professor Sycamore gets roasted a lot, so his burn hail is actually pretty important to him. That or it turns out Sycamore just bought a bunch of crap at a yard sale, and then dropped it all while wandering around the town. Well, he did say that he needed to stall us for a bit, so maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe it's kind of like Mark Brown telling his kids that he hid uh, uh, their names in the uh, uh, first Arthur book. How about Corway Town's famous freshwater? I'll just... eh. I just walked through it. It's not very fresh, guy. Here's something extra. Take it out. Don't be shy. Oh, why, thank you. Oh, and he gives eh fresh water a day. Well, whatever. I think this guy doesn't have jurisdiction to handle that water. He's just selling it because he knows he can get away with it. Oh, uh, but he's only selling it in low quantity, so not as not to be caught. Yeah. A thousand years ago, the Kalos region was mostly forest. Hey, Pokedex, here, let me give you a Pokemon quiz. What does Lil Clauncher shoot when its internal gas explodes? What? Well, water, but... Oh, correct answer. Here's your prize. Not sure I'd buy water from ra uh, random schmo in the middle of town. Yeah, me neither. Imagining the stuff in the Pokedex... Imagining the stuff in the Pokedex makes your world bigger and bigger. So, there's layers to interpret to that, isn't there? I hear there's a waterfall that flows backwards somewhere in the world. I really want to see that. When I say waterfall, what's the first thing that comes to mind? It's crazy how you get so many different answers to that question. Seriously, try asking your friends. What, no waterfall, TM? No, don't be absurd. Why would, why would he give us that? Oh no, I know what building shape like this mean. Heard a lot about you. Okay. Do you think it means this man? Ah! How's it going, friend? I'm Mr. Bonding. Let me ask you just in case. It's bonding time. You can now use stealth. Ooh. Stealth power decreases the chance of encountering wild Pokemon. You can use O powers from the Psst. The more you use them, the higher they level up, so use them as often as possible. Well, then I do believe I will be going now. Okay. Please leave us alone. <laughs> I would file a restraining order if I were old enough for that. Let's see. This house. This house. You. Which Pokemon did you pick as your first partner? Oh really, it was Froakie. And I guess you get the Froakie quiz. True or false, is Froakie's height one foot and four inches? Imagine if some random stranger greeted you by saying, I've heard a lot about you, <laughs> and literally nothing else. <laughs> well, I guess you overlook things more than I thought you would have. No. Let's continue. Is Froki's weight 15.4 pounds? Bingo, I knew you'd get it. I'm so glad you got it right. Here, this is your reward. A wa shouldn't have. By the game's logic, shouldn't I have gotten this ages ago? Look, I have the Pokedex. It's great fun. Sometimes Pokemon turn out to be bigger or smaller than you'd expect. Mimic, huh? 
it let you use the last move of Pope, an opponent to use during battle. Because what mimics like to do is to learn by copying other people, right? Hmm. It was the art museum in Lumio City. <laughs> that Froki is actually 10 feet and 4 inches. <laughs> In an album, you see pictures that make you remember the excitement you felt at that time. Excitement I have long forgotten. There it is. In Dendemil Town, you can make Pokemon remember moves they once knew. And that's the this out of the least town. creepy thing I've ever said. It's I don't know. Yearning for something that no longer exists is melancholy. Melancholy can be creepy. I guess. <laughs> this existentialist horror is a thing, Mr. Bachi. It is at least creepy adjacent, I will admit. There you go. I don't have anyone with Surf? Oh man. Well, whatever. Hopefully uh, Professor Sycamore didn't hide his thingy on the other side of the sea. Yeah, I couldn't find it, so I can only assume that it was that burn heal he really wanted us to have. You can probably teach something, Surf. So, Let my dearest Furfur lead the way on our walk. And we came all the way from Coomarine City to here. My feet are killing me! <laughs> woof woof. Wop. Wop wop. I'm a dog. Walk. 50 miles. Blue we'll pass through this gate. I love to imagine what kinds of trainers they are. Wah, wah. Uh, ah. I'm sure I've got someone in the... No way. I will walk 500 miles and I will walk 500 more. <laughs> and I will walk 500 miles. Actually, I can't teach anyone surf. Huh. This is Surprised Gudra can't warm in at least, but... Didn't uh, she know surf as a slick... No, cause she knew muddy water. I wouldn't have been able to make her unlearn surf. <laughs> Alright, it's another mountain route. Bet there'll be a sky battle. Oh man. I have two Pokemon that I could use for a s no, I have a eh Pokemon I could use for a sky battle. No oh, rough stuff, Candle Jet. Candle Jet not be you used in that bat. Uh, no, uh, Candle Jack can But the issue is that, uh, Punch Santa wouldn't be able to. Oh. Huh. Since Punch Santa stands rather than flies. Yeah, that's dumb, but yeah. Oh wait, bug type. Never mind, let's just toast him. Not bug type, it's poison type. Oh hell, you're right, poison dark. Yep. Yeah, the fact that it's capable of flying doesn't count because it's all about how lazy they were to create a flying animation. I think you mean how lazy the Pokemon is because it doesn't fly in its animation. If it flew in its animation, it could fly in the sky for a wonderful sky battle. It, flew, it flies in its animation in Pokemon Stadium 2. Well, that doesn't count. They're not using the stadium models, are they? I didn't think so. Hey, can Candle Jack? 
Oh, nope, no evolution yet. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Do you care I for a sky it. battle with a sky trainer? Well, well, Hold isn't it. this a shame? You don't have any flying Pokemon. We sky trainers only battle with Pokemon that can fly in the sky. Yeah, apparently, even uh, Lampent doesn't count. Well, anyway, let's just jump over some rocks do for do no do 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 Man, I wish they'd bring back uh, uh, friggin' uh, Star Tropics. Yeah, me too. Time for a Pokemon battle, is what me from 10 seconds ago said. Are you feeling existential, knowing that every 10 seconds you live, that's 10 seconds you'll never get to exist again? <laughs> the Always makes me think of the Calvin and Hobbes comic. Ah, it's a half hour later than it was a half hour ago! Oh wait, Pumpkaboo, I can uh, use uh, Cutty. Cut or cut. <laughs> I'm not sleeping tonight now, Goons. <laughs> Oh, that's a big pumpkin. Yeah, but it's just as deep. That's eight hour. I'm not getting back. I don't know what you mean by purse plus, but. Oh, well, that's yeah. at, that's at least eight hours that they're never getting back because they can't sleep. Oh, I think that's a typo. Eight hours with yeah. an O. Okay, do we want to learn Euro Ball? Friggin, it is stronger against slower peeps. Um, I think it's better than Swift, yeah. Okay. I could see myself being defeated by you. But she fought anyway? She, is she just a Calvinist? If you really battle and defeat me... Am I the same person as the person you just defeated moments ago? I can't prove that. See? I'm telling you, existentialist horror, that's her MO. Yeah, I can buy that. Oh. We are going to have to serve. Oh, this is awkward. Luckily, there's a flounder here. How do you know that you don't die every single night and are re reborn as an entirely different person when you wake up? How do you know any of this is real? <laughs> no, so you're making it scarier. <laughs> How do you know anything it matters in this world? At some point, you will. Sh At some point, Deborah, you will shut off the console, and neither of us will exist. We will both return to the dust of uh, the technological dust of nothingness. We will both inhabit the empty space. We will return to being I'm never theoretical sleeping parts. again. <laughs> <laughs> There. 
Ah, but it looks like I'm going to need Surf. Well, let's see if we can't get around by going all friggin' Star Tropics. <laughs> Fall before my fairies! One girl from a Pokemon game does this. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I, I still need to add friggin' uh, uh, channel points or do something with channel points. Ooh, Azumarill. Uh, that won't matter. I think it got really good in this game, too, because it has... Uh, what's it? The huge power? Oh, that's right. Which doubles its attack power. That on top of... Uh, uh, Fairy type. Yeah. Makes her weirdly defensive, I think, as well. I want to say Azumarill um, is uh, naturally decently tanky. I think it's one of those that has good special defense. Ah, maybe that's it. Let me see. Those fairy tale girls look younger in their overworld model than they do in their battle model. I mean, they still look really little, I guess. But yeah. Um, actually, uh, it has decent, uh, stats. 80 on the defenses and 100 HP. Not bad. Oh, yeah, that ain't bad. Switch back to Dragoon. <laughs> the Zap doesn't even know self-destruct. Well, yeah, but it's the difference between young girl and literal baby. Yeah. You sure about that? Okay. I can see the fairies! They're waving at me from across the river! <laughs> I can hear them! The fairies are whispering to me! Fight! Win! That's what they say! <laughs> okay, if fairies didn't explicitly exist in this universe, I would think that would be like a reference to how like, a lot of people interpret Alice in Wonderland as her just breaking from reality. Oh. got that going for us. Ah, almost. Alright, I know I can safely switch over to Celeste because Ligu probably doesn't have Dragon Pulse yet. 
I couldn't do much with it. Nope, huh. I tell a lie. Oh, but if that was a crit hit, I ain't worried. I like that Sligoo has almost the same animation as, um, as... Gudra? Gudra does, yes. Yeah. Kind of, like, freezes with its mouth open. Mm-hmm. dee 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 Hey, do you, like, know what's about to happen? Do we? I don't. <laughs> We're going to battle, silly! We are Pokemon trainers, after all. It's uh, been a while. Anyway, here's an adorable cat. It's always a little strange to me which uh, battles do and don't get special backgrounds. Yeah. This is pretty, uh, this is pretty neat, though. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's time for Punch Santa. All right. It probably was not time for Punch Santa. Oh, good lord. No. Aunt Santa did very little. Wait, wait. She has a chance to redeem herself. Keep her coming. Keep her coming, Punch Santa. No. More than I expected. Good enough, Punch Santa. Ah, uh, okay. You tried. Eh, let's just go back to the game. That the whole caddy played just a tad too rough. Ah, shoot. This would have been a decent one for Punch Santa, too. I'll switch to Man Bear Pig, though. Just gotta make sure that I move faster than her. Yeah. Oh! Well, I will take that. Always weirded out by how they just make the model freeze like that. I mean, it makes sense, but it's like it is a little freaky, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Blizzard! Oh, that's oh, time. Blizzard. Um, you might just want to get rid of Ancient Power. I don't think Ancient Power is that great. Well, the only thing is he needed to learn Ancient Power to evolve, so what's to stop him from devolving into Pilo Swine? I'm just saying. Okay. Del Fox. Let's go ahead and switch over to our own uh, Gudra. Okay. Actually... Yeah, you know Flash Fire. I know Flash Fire, and Psychic is weak to Ghost, right? Yes. Okay. Let's do Candle Jet. Hmm? 
Wait, does Lampent need... Uh, does Lampent evolve through trade? Oh, I think it might. Let me see. Since, since uh, it's uh, Haunter stand-in. Oh, oh no, it needs a Dusk Stone. Hey, we just got one of those. Yeah. I'm switching to Celeste because it turns out Psychic still uh, gets hard. Battles with friends are, like, really, really exciting and stuff. Sure are. You're standing awfully close to the edge there. Oh, ho, ho! We finally got there! Yeah. We promoted our pawn. To bishop, though? Not just queen? Okay. Maybe all the queens were taken. And the rooks. You're just, like, really dominating this game. I guess. That reminded me of our battle in Aquacore Day Town. That was our. That was the first time for both of us to battle with our Pokemon. Does, wasn't it romantic hint hint? <laughs> Hello, Dittle DDD. Hi, Shauna. What are you up? What are you two up to? Nothing big. I wasn't about to kiss her or anything. Just nothing. <laughs> you can't. You can't prove anything. <laughs> How about you guys? Why are you that same thing as you, Shauna? <laughs> we were also about to kiss her! <laughs> we heard about Light DVD from the professor, and we came running as fast as we could. Light DVD! Can we have a Pokemon battle? Or, oh, uh, sorry to just throw that at you. Yeah. Actually, been a while since we fought him, too. Anyway, he has a bird to help him with dancing. Actually, this is a bad lineup for me. Actually, I don't really have a whole lot of answers for... I guess Celeste, but uh, I'm gonna need a turn to heal. What? And bazap, I guess. Yeah. There you go. Nice and easy. Roserade. Aw, oh, man, I wish I still had the, uh, Lampent. Um... I could hit it with Blizzard. Well, the only thing is... Dragoon actually is probably my best bet, since, uh, he's gonna no or she's gonna no-sell an awful lot of what Roserade has to offer. Yeah, that's fair. Now, Roserade I can definitely buy as a dancing, as a dancing, uh, Fiend's Pokémon. Yeah. See you later, Lucas. See ya. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and take the time to heal. Like that. 
High damage for resisting it. Indeed. I suppose this sort of answers my question of why does this fight have its own unique background? Uh, they use the background. the board. That's it. Pedal Dance is uh, Outrage. I was curious if um, if Bitsharp and Ponyard were Shogi related in Japanese. They are in fact. Oh, okay. Interesting. Makes more sense because, like, there's no religious connotation at all with the sharp, so. Yeah. I guess that's just the easiest, most analogous piece. Yeah. It's based off of, um,. The low level pieces. Well, Ponyard is the low level pieces uh, in Shogi, which are called Coma. Okay. And then I assume that means Bisharp is the high level pieces. Um, or no. Huh. Okay, it has not once punched itself. And we'll pop a hyper potion. Bulbapedia does not mention a shogi connection to Bisharp, but does for Bonjour, which is odd. I'm sure there's gotta be, uh, th there's probably a piece that uh, matches Bisharp. Yeah. Man, not once has it flipped tails on uh, that uh, confusion check. Do it. Do it. See? It didn't. At least you're not taking much damage. True enough. Yeesh, I'll take that. Just ahead of its time of like the the rave crabs. I know this is the crawfish, but work with me here. Sure, okay. <laughs> it's weird, but I don't get that down when I lose to you. So holy crap, that's a tiny crawdon. Wow, Tierney asking someone to battle? What's up with that? Geosenge Town made me think. If late TDD hadn't been there, I wouldn't be dancing now, that's for sure. That made me want to get to know late DDD better, and I thought a battle would be the best way to do that. I guess. It's kind of selfish of me, I guess, but it's also a way of thanking her. You know. 
It's great when Pokemon trainers like us can understand the hearts and minds of other trainers and their Pokemon through battle. But before we do anything else, we should heal your Pokemon. Now it's your turn, Led DDD. No, I spent an hour or so just healing them. You watched it. Ah. I think I will follow the crowd and be your opponent as well. Because you aren't strong enough to face three mediocre trainers in a row. You need this healing. No, no. It's not. It's not. It's not that it's three trainers. It's that it's him. You're not ready to face me. Time. It won't be about the Pokedex. It will be a Pokemon battle. Okay. You might lose, so we just have to heal you. That would make you sad if you actually were a, a minor threat of losing. Oh, I will. I do appreciate the PP if recovery, though. Yeah, <laughs> what? Right. That's what a slam is? I thought it was like a body check, not just make the dude flipsy and slam them into the ground. It's vague. Alright, now this Pokemon is flawless. Uh, oh, right. Is that what, a pun what it's a pun of? Gorgeous? Yeah, because it's floral and it's gorgeous. So it's flawless. But it's spelled all weird. Well, Farfetch'd is spelled weird. There. Keep it in. I don't. I think you resist most of its stuff, and you have all those attack boosts. Oh, that's true. Okay. Only concern is that Aerodactyl is pretty fast, so maybe I should heal first. Yeah. Okay. Definitely digging Dragoon post uh, Evo now. Yep. She finally got there. Oh, kid! You're even stronger than I thought! Yep. Now please get us out of this uh, uh, fantasy fairy scape. There is still so much I don't know. Do I just not have what it takes? I know this voice makes this emotional moment not very emotional, but whatever. Wow, I don't think I've ever heard you, like, worry about being weak or strong before, Trevor. You seem a lot bolder than you used to be. Is it because you went on a journey? Or maybe it's thanks to what you learned from being with your Pokemon and with us, I guess? Your friends? Speaking of which, where's Calum? 
Yep, you don't have what it takes. Better give up and go home, kid. <laughs> He's off training with the Mega Evolution Guru. He said friends are friends, even if they can't be together. Indeed. <laughs> and then there's Caleb. He's dead. Well, there's something we must attend to. Be seeing you. Awful lot of that going around. I'm so glad I went on a journey. I made some great friends. And thanks to my little fan of kin that I met before we left, I was able to meet many places, meet a lot of nice people, and make many wonderful memories. The TDD, this is from us, but mostly me. Alright, now there's your stinking waterfall. Even if you're battling without the badge from Snowbell City Gym, you can use Waterfall. Gotta get going, see ya! And that is the end of all of their character arcs. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't, I don't think they show up anymore. Well, I huh. basically just skipped this whole route. Whoops. It, it, I, I mean, I wasn't expecting them to actually kiss or anything, but like, they continued the, this is totally meant to be romantic thing because they very blatantly separate Shauna from the rest of the cast there. Yeah. I don't know why, but I only really remember the battles I lose. You've got to turn every frustrating defeat into motivation and grow stronger. Kids need to spend more time playing outdoors. It's not good to be indoors all the time. Yes. It's not good to be indoors playing video games. My Bergmite was given to me by my grandma when I was born. Trash can is empty. All right, well, I didn't think we'd make it, but here we are in Snowbell City. Yeah. Says the woman who spends literally all her time indoors. But first, you again? Uh, twice in one stream. <laughs> There's no escaping. Oh crap! No, no, no! I didn't need the explanation. Oh, PP restoring power. Well, I oh, will that take one's that. actually useful. One man, through it all, lives ever on. To a Pokemon once lost, he's ever drawn. One man, through it all, lives ever on. Searching for his heart, long lost and gone. Sure. Sure. Is that AZ related? Yep, that'll be AZ related. Yeah. Don't get lost down the Pokemon path. The big tree marks the way. Don't get lost down the Pokemon path. Round and round in a loop it goes. Yeah, all of the bards in the game, uh, their songs have been uh, tied to AZ. Gotcha. So, I'm all about ice types, you know? They're super chill for real. Then again, I can see why some people get fired up for the fire types. They're pretty hot. <laughs> oh. Have you heard of the uh, uh, Gracidea flower? It's been a long-standing tradition in the Sinnoh region to give bouquets of them to people as a way of expressing one's appreciation. <laughs> Where it stops, nobody knows. <laughs> oh, hello. It's a small thing, but I appreciate how big they made up on the snow there. Agreed. Pokemon don't freeze in harsh sunlight. Hey, get back here, kitty. Stop, stop. <laughs> Thank you. Standing here reminds me of a cold region far away. Would you listen to the first song I composed there? Sure. Oh, thank you. This is that song. Ah. 
I like it, but don't recognize it, and I feel I should. I think this is from uh, this is from Diamond Pearl. I gotcha. I'm trying to remember, is this Snowpoint City? It's either Snowpoint or whatever the canal one is, Canal or Cavanal. Cabana Null. Cabana. Jubilife. I think it's Jubilife City. Alright. Yeah, I'm actually pretty sure it's Jubilife. Ignore everything else I said. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. For generations, my family's duty has been to teach moves to Pokemon that people call mythical. I can teach a move to Keldeo or Meloe... Melodia? Meloetta. Meloetta. There it is. Melodic sounding name. I don't have it, but the thick... F I don't have it. I don't have it, but the thick fat ability weakens the power of fire and ice type moves. I told you I don't have it! You, you look fine, girl. <laughs> don't... <laughs> don't be so self-conscious. Lysanderoth. He's my old friend. He was trying to help people in need. Becoming convinced of people's stupidity and facing his own limitations led him to conclude that the world could not be saved, which led to his suffering. It's ironic. It was Jubilife City. Aha! He I rocked. Got it the third time. You try this! Bulk up! Bulks up! The body! To raise attack stat and defense stat! Is it just repeat? Alright. Yeah, okay. Um, Cause I guess you're passionate? No, she's, she's so bulked up you would not even believe. Me. You and your Pokemon look like you've been through a lot together. You know, I got a kid who's right around the same age as you. He just set off from Vanaville Town on a journey of his own recently. I bet he's looking all grown up now. Wait, you're Calum's dad? But you're so little! Just randomly talk to Calum's dad, okay? Not even in a house or anything, just walking around. Well... I guess that is one of the rare instances of a Pokemon character having a father. Now it turns out that kid is actually the Obama Snow nearby. <laughs> Can your Pokemon use map block? I think that's a um That'll be a Greninja move. Hariyama. Oh, what? I'm pretty sure that's a Greninja move. Oh, yeah, it might be that. Because it right. kicks up a, a mat to block. Doesn't matter whether I go somewhere or not, because as long as I'm with a Pokemon, I can have fun wherever I am. Hmm. Ah, yes, the pensive Meryl. <laughs> or maybe it's just like a... Mmm! We're well known for using synchronize. No, wait, 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 wait. I have to. No, I have to. T I have to time you this. You have right. to learn how to desync the ice climbers. Haha! -ha. We have the same personality. Hehehehe. <laughs> Let's trade my Bishop for a Jigglypuff? I don't have Jigglypuff. Oh well, if the time is right, let's trade. When Pokemon get frozen, they can't do anything! But it's hard to freeze a Pokemon. Anyway, please stop desyncing my children. <laughs> Hail, Traveler! What sights have you seen with your Pokemon? Let's see, and this will be the way out of town. 
so we shan't go there just yet. You know what we haven't done in a while? Buy clothes. Let's see. Let's buy clothes. I like that. We need winter wear. It's vaguely Naoto-ish. What about this hat? Well, that's a nice hat, but there's no getting rid of this hat. Let me change. Alright. Wait, but I just... Uh, oh wait, no, I, do I have to buy the thing before I buy the thing? I think it might be under dresses. Oh. Oh yeah, you're right. Well, that's what we started with. There we go. Now that is quite nice. That's a nice little dress. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think get the boots too while you're at it. Yeah, okay. These uh, dark ones? I think the brown ones would work better. Alright. These ones? The, I was thinking the other ones, but. Oh, alright. Let's get a little bit of color in there. Sure, alright. Those are socks. There we go. Nice! Okay. Alright, that'll do. Out of here. Let's see. Just going to do a quick sweep around before we get in there. Thanks to the cold air that seeps out of the gym, no one in this town needs air conditioning. So wait, basically the entire gym, all the snow is just because of the gym? Doesn't yes, matter, so. Doesn't matter how big our numbers might get, people on Pokemon will be fine in this world. husband can teach ultimate moves to certain Pokemon. Blazing Fire-type Pokemon, Charizard, Hiflosion, Blaziken, Vernape, Emboar, and Delphox. Blaze Water-type Pokemon, Blastoise, Fragon, Swampert, Empoleon, Samurai, Greninja. Uh, Grass-type Pokemon, Venusaur, Game, Scapta, Hordera, Superior, Chestnut. Yeah, he teaches the, uh, he teaches the, um, Frenzy Plant and Friends. Gotcha. Wulfric often wanders off in the direction of the winding woods. I wonder what he's up to. Oh, yeah. Actually, relate, speaking of, let's not get ahead of ourselves. What's new, little blue? If it ain't the future champ. Hate to disappoint, but the gym leader is actually out right now. He said he was off in the winding woods, if you feel like searching. Yeah, so we gotta go track down the gym leader, Wulfric. Gotcha. Part of Pokemon battles, there's so many options, so many different tactics to try. Some people may try to end the battle quickly with a brute offense, brute force offense, while others may prefer to go defensive and play the long game. Yeah, so we actually have a little bit of uh, traipsing about to do to try to find this guy. Fan tips: Eevee is a Pokemon with great potential. Try experimenting with many things, such as certain locations, times of day, and evolution stones. Speaking of evolution stones, let us evolve. Um. You want to wait until level 53 because it learns Shadow Ball, then. Oh, okay. Good catch. Alright. 
Anywho. We head down this way into... For some reason, this is the Lost Woods. The game's just doing Lost Woods on us. Okay. Actually, I should probably switch Candle Jet to being out front. Yeah, it's almost... almost ready. One more level. Alright, let's see. Real quick. Wait. Boongus? Yeah, what? Boongus. What? Why are they Boongus? Actually, oh. why is... Why is... It Candler... Uh, I'm gonna run. I don't trust these mushrooms. Yeah, I don't trust all of that misspellings. And in fact, I'm going to quick save the game. Hey, something and... weird's happening. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the, there's something weird in those mushrooms. Boongus is kind of a cute name for, uh, for a fungus, though. Hey, an Axel! Let's switch over to... We'll switch over to Punch Santa, why not? It's okay, that was a crit hit. Means we're not likely to see too many of those. Best. Kind of late to be catching a knockdown, but whatever. This is definitely a game that goes last. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, this is definitely a game where they uh, stick really hard to uh, specific Pokemon and specific biomes. Even though that does yeah. end in a lot, result in a lot of uh, weird choices for what Pokemon constitute endgame Pokemon. Yeah, there's very little uh, scaling in the game to its detriment. But mm -hmm. all right, we're going to need a, a uh, we're going to need a name for this knock towel. It needs to think. It rotates its head 180 degrees to sharpen its intellectual power. I've ever actually run Knock Towel in a game. I have. Uh, I did it in Gen 2 a while back. How is Knock Towel? It's not that great. I suppose that's par for the course for early game birds, but. I think it's lesser than like Pidgeot and stuff. It learns a lot of moves like uh, Mind Reader that aren't that great.
think it learns like psychic or something later on. Which is kind of cool. It gets uh, confusion pretty early too, doesn't it? I think like, so. I don't sort of remember. like a sort of like a bird uh, butterfree in that respect. Yeah. Could be the toughest twins in the world. It's just in that in Gen two. It was in that awkward place where any bird that didn't learn drill peck. It's kind of mediocre. Oh, sure. Oh, wait, no. This... Oh, wow, this is a bad matchup for me. Yeah. Okay, how do I want to do this? Um... It's bad on both ends, so... Funnily enough, I would do this and this. Is that three stages? Three stages, yeah. Weird. Uh, what the hell? Oh, what? What? Man. Dirk. Alright, let's bring out the Dragoon. The cavalry's here, literally. Let's focus on taking down Aromatis first. Pretty sure fire types resist fairy attacks actually. It's the other way around. Fairies resist fire. Pink. Or do I have that backwards? I knew there is a I know there's a weird defensive um uh, there's a weird defensive play uh, surrounding fire types, but I forget if it's one way or the other. Yeah. Maybe I maybe I've got it backwards. Oh wait! A I time. always forget fairy stuff. Fire types resist fairy attack. Alright, my bad. I totally had that backwards. Power whip? What's that do? Ooh! Grass. Oh, it's a super vine whip. Yeah, you probably want that. Oh, cool. Over body slam, you think? Yeah, why not? Weird coverage on uh, on Celeste, but I'm digging it. Yeah. You okay. Uh, well, let's see what we can do. Oh. Okay.
That's right, I remember now, um, my Del Fox in my first run was, uh, uh, got me through, uh, uh, Valerie's gym pretty handily. She's gonna be the toughest twins in the whole world. You gotta know how to get around Protect when it's used against you. you gotta know when to use Protect in double battle. Um, neither of you did that. That's okay, though. Okay, Fairy type you... attacks, t double damage against dragon, fighting, and dark types, half damage against fire, poison, and steel types. Okay. Okay. Advanced tips. You can check the moves for any of your Pokemon right from inside the PC box. Cool, huh? You just ran into a girl who's head over heels for Pokemon battles. Oh, now this, here we are. Nothing shouts, I'm addicted to Pokemon battles like Klefki. Air type Pokemon, double damage from poison and steel attacks, half damage from bug, dark, and fighting type attacks, and no damage from dragon type attacks. I okay. forgot they take half damage from bug, too. Oh, yeah, I don't know that I've run into that specifically. Good to know. Uh. Sure. Yeah, no wonder they're so good if their only weaknesses are poison and steel. Because those are not great attacks. Mm -hmm. I guess they get a lot better now that they have the niche of hitting fairies. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I definitely appreciate that um, becoming, or them being more relevant because of that. Uh -huh. Oh good, here we go. Give me Shadow Ball. Well, wait. What's oh. me Memento do? Uh oh drops attack and special attack, but it's sacrificial. Um... I don't know. What? I haven't really used Memento, and it's a long shot, but Hex is a really fun if you're able to proc a, a burn on a, a flamethrower. That's, that's what I was thinking, too. I'm just having that extra PP. Yeah, okay. Girls in love don't mind if they lose. Tee hee hee, such a mysterious power. Pokemon have such an amazing strength, they bring smiles to everyone's faces. Main outliers are fire and bug, all the other types are mirrored, fires are weak to steel, and do half damage to steel, etc. Alright. Alright, where is it? Here we go.
I always like Chandelure. I think it's a cool idea. It, it got some shade because, oh, spooky lamp. But, like, it fits the theming of, like, a haunted house where the objects are enchanted. I can see that. I think for the longest time I didn't really get uh, Chandelure, but that, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Alright, so there's the big tree. And... Um, uh, now we're back at the... Oh, wait, no. Okay, now have... we're out. Wait, uh, do you have, like, a TM for, um... For Will-O-Wisp? I might. Let's see. That'd be good to teach it. Hey, oh. Doesn't look like it. I could do toxic. All right. Because eh. hex is based on uh, a hex is based on any status condition, not just uh, burn. Yeah, that might be a good idea. All right. Just taking another look through. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's do that then. I don't think your first move was that great. Uh, curse, which is fun, yeah. but it's definitely a mid-game move. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is much better. William O. Wisp. <laughs> That's cute. Fully evolved team. Oh yeah! Hey, we finally got there! Yep. Alright. So, uh, we got through that quicker than I was expecting. Here we go. You know what this place is? Welcome to the Pokemon Village! This place is a secret, you know? Most of the Pokemon here are runaways. Escape from bad people who did awful things to them. It's a shame how many heartless trainers who can't bother to take care for their Pokemon are out there. Some of these Pokemon, though, some of them are just too strong and found they re didn't really have a place in the outside world. So they came here. Hmm, I see. Your Pokemon sure seem to think highly of you. You've had some good times together. Haven't you? Hey, you can all you all can come out now. This one's all right. Sometimes I get worried and come here to check on everyone. Oh, excuse my manners. We haven't even had a proper introduction yet. The name's Wolfric. I'm usually over at the gym in Snowbell City since I'm the gym leader and all. Let me guess, you want to challenge me? Yeah. I thought so. Sorry to inconvenience you like this. I'll be waiting for you back at the gym then. Before you come by, I think it would do you good to spend some time with the Pokemon here. Wop. Alright, I know we're running late, but I would like to try to beat uh, Wolfric before we uh, wrap up the uh, wrap up for tonight. Do you think you can stick around for, for a bit? Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, we'll we'll run a little late tonight, but I just like to get that squared away for uh, for next time, or just because yeah, we've it. got we've got important decisions to make after we beat Wolfric. That's a good stopping point. Oh, by the way, we have uh, wild Pokemon encounters here still. Um, sure. I'm going to run just because I find it tacky. Yeah, kinda. They do kind of explain it uh, a little later on, I guess, with the idea of, oh, well, these po or as Wolfric said, oh, these Pokemon have moved here just because uh, they're too powerful for the outside world and they've gotten burned, so this is their sanctuary. And the idea is supposed to be that, well, they're willing to 
they're still willing to be impressed by a trainer and join with them, uh, which is why they're challenging you. But it just kind of feels like, uh, yeah, know, wandering into an animal shelter and trying to, uh, trying to roughhouse with the timid kitten hiding in the back. Yeah, this is, um, you would think of this as like a Pokemon safe space, so that's kind of awkward. Mm -hmm. oh, little traumatized cats. There we go. But yeah, this is the Pokemon Village. It's an honest to goodness. Oh, and there's just a dude there. An honest like, to goodness what? It's an honest to goodness place you can just fly to in the uh, in the overworld. Oh, that's cool. It's so, like the game recognized this that this is an outpost. In fact, Snorlax lies deep in slumber. Looks like it's having some good dreams. Oh, I thought that was a thing, but that's not a thing. What, a second Snorlax? No, um, I seem to recall that there's some place in here that's a stand-in for Pokemon Center, but I forget oh. what it is precisely. I thought it was like, oh, Snorlax is sleeping, you want to chill here too? Yeah. Oh, there's Jigglypuff. Why are you an endgame Pokemon? So you could trade it for a Bisharp? Which is, like, extra tacky, now that I think about it. Oh, yeah, that's really troubling, huh? Not I... only are you invading to impress them and beat them up, but you just trade it away immediately, too. Alright, well, I've been traumatized by humans who don't care about Pokemon, but I trust you. I'm gonna join up with you. Oh, wait. Wait, no, you're, you're but maybe the, okay, well, bye. Maybe they're challenging us, and we're not challenging them, so maybe that's a little better. That's probably the intent. Yeah. I'm just gonna go poking around a little bit more. Oh, wait. oh boy, this is gonna be trouble. Strange Black Shadow leaped out in a panic. Left something behind in the trash can. Honey. Yeah, see? It just... We basically just trundled on up and smacked the side of a trash can with a raccoon hiding in it. And that's... This is this is good. This is what we're supposed to be doing. Alright. No, I think this is what I was looking for. You're not gonna check those other trash cans? Oh! I guess this is where you get Ditto as well. Maybe all of the Pokemon here are Ditto. Ever think about that? I guess I didn't. It's trash! Oh, there's honey. For if you wanted honey. For restore. The trash can, what on earth were you expecting? Pretty much. Actually, hell, we probably have some repels on us. I'm just gonna do that. Don't need much, just so getting pretty darn late, so I'm gonna head on off. That's fair. All right. Good night. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna. That's enough of that. Let's fly. Back to Snowbell City.
Sorry to leave you guys to stream alone. Hey, that's okay. It's, uh, we're just glad we could, uh, have you hanging out, uh, with us, uh, uh, while you were able. Alright, here we go. Last gym of the game. And unfortunately, it is a little bit of a long one, so I'm, I'm just going to try to hustle through as quick as I can. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Just four trainers uh, along the way. What's the dice, Chunk of Ice? Love that. How's my favorite feature, Champ? As you can see, this Snowbell City Gym is the place to be if you love ice types. But you've already seized seven badges from gym leaders all across Kalos, right? I'm sure you don't need any, more, any hints from a guy like me anymore. Am I right? Right! One more to go, eh? Show them what you're made of, future champ. Aww. Alright, I guess let's see if we can't just steamroll this with Candle Jet. Yep. Oh, that's not gonna work at all. Call me the Queen of the Ice Rink. Always looks weird to me with just a little uh, feather. Oh yeah, I didn't know they had sexual dimorphism. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Actually, uh, Dragoon would be useful against uh, ice types too, wouldn't? Wouldn't she? Since uh, yeah, yeah, it resists ice. And uh, ice is weak to steel, isn't it? Yeah, that too. Yeah. I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, that's oh, the gimmick. That's cool gimmick. Yeah, this one's cool. I forgot that's what the trick was. Okay. Like this. Breeze right there. Ha ha ha. Oh, he's got punch Santa too. Actually, it's probably just Santa Santa. Oh no. Santa can't he give ghosts gifts. Can't even. <laughs> Use present. Just in case Dilbert wasn't pathetic enough already. Oh, that's heartbreaking, man. Alright. Should give pre present like a 10% chance of instant KO or something. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Um. Great, no. Is even worth healing? Well, that was a crit hit, so it's probably not going to hit as hard. Uh oh. But being sad. Okay. I guess we'll see. I guess they tie. Yeah. Frozen my heart solid. Stress flies all to you. Well, I suppose it does. This is Pokemon Gym after all. 
way, and nope. And then we do uh, this one. Nope, nope, that was a bad idea. Although... There we go. So we can do this. No, we can't. Filthy lies. Nope. 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 Okay, so it has to be that one out of top. Only issue being that... Okay, so then I have to rotate this back one such that... You can like get that. around that way. Indeed. Nope. Why not that one? There we go. It had to be one where I could walk down here and then walk up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I cool down and clear my head with a refreshing chilled dessert. Here, let me give you a taste. Oh, please have vanilla ox. Yeah, please. I was thinking the same thing. Cryogonal. Well, I mean, you wander outside and you catch snowflakes on your tongue, I guess. She guess. could. She could still have vanilla ox. Maybe she's just got an ice cream cone in the chamber. It's cryogonal is just to help keep it cold. There you go. Come on. It's like the game's trying to make up for the insane luck Tierno had a little while ago. Okay, yeah. here we go. No? Okay. I think uh. it's one of those with really high special defense. Oh, I think and you're real, right. And really bad regular defense. I think it has like 120 special defense and like 30 regular defense. Something crazy like that. Kilo swine, still not quite what we're looking for, but uh, I'm gonna switch to Celeste. Probably would have used power whip there. Oh, ice doesn't resist, uh... No. Oh, hell, I want to see what it looks like. I'm gonna do that now. The only thing ice resists is ice. Oh, right. We'll switch to Dragoon, I guess. Try using Ice Beam on some berry juice for a delicious frappe. 
Hey, you gotta get to know your Pokemon and their moves outside of battles, right? Alright, I will go ahead and fight this guy right away because I'm sure that's the puzzle. It'll keep your cool no matter the situation is a trademark of the truly powerful. Oh, I should have healed. Bear tick. There's the ice cream cone. She just lended it to him. Aww. Oh, I forgot Vanillux is fast? I guess so. I thought it was supposed to be special defensive, but maybe it just uh, has a glass jaw to fire. Yeah. I've got my blood boiling. Now I think this ice is gonna melt. Okay, so I'm gonna want to rotate this such that, yes, this is what we want. And now I'm free to experiment with this. Not yet. Still no. There we go. Nope, I tell a lie. Oh, wait, no, we're good. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. All right, time to heal her up. That was a cool little gym. Yeah, not exactly, uh, doesn't exactly feel like an eighth gym, but it's a nice no. little puzzle. Yeah, I kind of wish it were, like, the fourth gym, admittedly. Yeah, Vulfric's uh, setup here could have worked way better for, uh, in place of Ramos's just tree adventures. You know what? Ice is both extremely hard and terribly fragile at the same time. I don't know about extremely hard, but... It's... You know what that means? Depending on which Pokemon you choose and what moves they use, I could be your most challenging opponent yet, or I could be a total pushover. I guess they're self-aware? But that's alright, that's how it should be. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's get the show on the road. The uh, gym leaders in this game are very whatever, but I kind of like uh, Wolfric is just very blasé about everything. He's like, yeah, this is the way things go. I feel like He's... the developers are apologizing that they know it's going to be a really easy fight, but... I mean, I, I guess self-aware counts for something. But it's it's kind of a neat tone to end the uh, to end the uh, uh, I don't want to not quite end the game on, but it's an it's a neat tone to just wrap up the gym leader challenge with just having a feed. Yeah, it, it is what it is. Oh well. Yeah. Anyway, Avalug here is his uh, ultimate, or is his uh, his ace. And uh, I bet it's gonna die. Yep. Yep. He sucks. <laughs> yep. Yeah. What was the most challenging gym later? Valerie, I think. Yeah. They were all pretty weak. We'll try Dragoon since uh, uh, you mentioned Cryogonal is more special D than Fisky. Yeah. 
Anyway, I one-shot the whole team. Yep. <laughs> Yikes. Outstanding! I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through! Impressive! Your Pokémon fought with great courage. I can tell that you've trained your Pokémon well. Alright, we got the Iceberg Badge. What you have right there is called the Iceberg Badge. I just said that. <laughs> as long as you have that, any and all of your Pokémon will surely look up to you and do their absolute best in battle. Let me give you this too. I guess he demonstrated Ice Beam? I wouldn't know. <laughs> you, you know what this is? It's Ice Beam! It's the good move. This move has an accuracy of 100%. Not only that, but every once in a while it'll freeze the target it hits too. It's pretty much the good Ice move, that's it. Hope you've learned a valuable lesson today. That you should never expect any difficulty in this game. Well. Being rigid can make you tough, but it will also render you fragile. You're better off being flexible. You know what I mean? You should never use ice type, ever. Oh. Some people are fluid like water and can adapt to their environment without changing and what's important on the inside or something. Metaphors. Not me, though. I guess I'm too stubborn. Maybe that's why I love ice types. How did this guy get to be a gym leader? Oh, I like that. Thank you for doing that, I appreciate it. Oh, you can't even walk back properly because they angled it. As is just re uh, reiterating. This guy being a total loser that, like, teaches you oh, we morals slide! and stuff. Oh, we slide! I'm kind of for that guy being a total loser that's just about like teaching you morals and whatnot but I I wish that other gyms were difficult if they were going to do that like this is a good gym to end on in a game that actually had some teeth and I don't think this game did this theoretically could be a really effective victory lap but yeah. the rest of the game doesn't really match up with that really the only We've now gone through all of them. The only two gym leaders that still stick out to me are Karina, mostly because the game pushes her so much, uh, and uh, Valerie, mostly for her yeah. novelty. Um, there's gyms that I like. I really liked. Uh, I liked Olympia's gym. Uh, she's got a neat setup and a neat arena, um, but um, there was there was the quiz and. Oh, Clemens Town. Jim's yeah. alright too. But his battle was nothing. They do a lot of neat theming, but there's little in the way of uh, mechanical substance. Again, I think besides uh, Valerie's Gym, which has the benefit of being the series primer on uh, fairy types. Yeah. Hey, Dark Knight, we're gonna end pretty oh. soon, but we're talking. Oh, but we do have some very important business to take care of in just a minute here, so I'm glad we have someone to help us out. Yeah. Uh, congrats on smashing our gym leader to pieces. I knew you could do it, champ. In honor of you and your team, we have carved your name on our mysterious frozen statues there. Yeah, okay. Um, the, fir the first... So let's just go through the gym. The first gym was... Oh, hold up a sec. Oh, let's see what this is. There's the future champ I know and love. Looks like you trumped our old gym leader. 
It's never a bad thing to test the limits of your strength. Am I right or am I right? And since you're such a star, I guess that means you're off to the Pokemon League. You know what? You have all the gym badges now, so there's really only one thing left to do. It's time you headed off to the Pokemon League. Listen up now. Trust in your Pokemon and there's no limit to what you can achieve. Okay, so what was the first gym that was... First gym was Viola, the uh, uh, photographer bug lady. Yeah, that was nothing. Um, the second gym was aggressively nothing, the was, two fossil ones. It was Grant, yeah, the rock climber rock guy. Uh, fossil, yeah, that... having a, they have the theme being fossil Pokemon is a neat idea, but they, they don't do much with it. Yeah, and it was so easy, it was like ridiculously easy, I remember. Mm -hmm. Uh, third gym was Karina, who had the... That, that one was okay. She was the cool, uh, roller derby, uh, also friggin' guru master in training. I remember, I remember Hallucha potentially causing damage if you weren't prepared for it, so... That's th right. That had something. Uh, fourth gym was Ramos in the Tree Forest Ranger. That, that one absolutely sucked. Fifth gym was Clement in uh, the Eiffel Tower. Jim was alright. The battle sucked. Uh, sixth was Valerie in the um, dollhouse uh, fashion line. That was good. Almost certainly the best gym in the game. Because uh, it actually plays with the type and teaches you stuff and Fits with the environment and all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. Seventh gym was uh, was uh, Olympia in space. Oh yeah, that was psychic, right? Yeah, yeah, she was psychic. She had yeah. A... What was her lineup? She <laughs> had um. It's she had. One to remember. She had Mr. Mime. She had Meowstic, and then someone else that I'm blanking on. Yeah, I, I think that one was slightly less bad, but still pretty bad. The gym looked cool, though. Mm -hmm. And then Wolfric here uh, was kind of a pushover, but again, that's sort of the point that they're making. Which would be a point better made if the other gyms had difficulty, but I, it, it's, a, it's an at least an idea. Sure. All right, now... Excuse me. Now... It's about time for us to wrap up, but we have some very important business to attend to first. Now that we've beaten the final gym leader, it is time for us to finalize our team. Which, uh, per the rules of the per the rules of the uh, challenge, I can use any Pokemon on my final team. I just have to select who the final ones are going to be. And actually. Uh. I have a specific expanded right up here. Um, uh, after I the think, eighth I gym, think... I may select my final team from the retired list. So it does have to be people that I've used before. But we have quite a lot of those. I think we should keep Chandelure just because that's fun and it's also really good. I can dig that. Honestly, I'll... honestly, I'm going to insist that we change up the team, but... Yeah, I, this is this has proven to be a very solid team over the last couple uh, uh, last couple sessions. Uh, Punch Santa, notwithstanding. Yeah. So that's an easy getting rid of that. Okay, I will put. Um, I guess I'll put Punch Santa down here to denote. No, but uh, so just going just going over everyone we have. Um, We've got uh, Candle Jet, Celeste the Gudra, uh, Bazap the Electrode, uh, Man Bear Pig the Mamoswine, and Dragoon the Bisharp. Of people that we have retired, we are looking at uh, Kazooie the Pikachu. Oh, I forgot all these names. Uh, Pidge the Pidgey, uh, Zigzagrius the Zigzagoon, hashtag Slippy for Froakie. Jesse the Fletchling, God the Butterfree, Bebe's Kid the Flabebe, uh, Muddy Buddy the Badoo, Thinkin' Bee the Combi, Coke Product the Letty. It's been so long for these. 
I've forgotten all these dumb names. Uh, Squirrel the War Turtle, Bayou Billy the Sand Dial, Hugh Neutron the Ducklet, Red Chest the Lunatone, ba 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 da ba the Machop, Girl the Curlia. That'd be a decent pick for uh, Fairy type per uh, uh, Dark Knight. Uh, Flumple Bump the Furfru. Panda Express the Pancham. Do we do we just bring on Panda Express? She was kind I of think we got her. Yeah, she was our early game hero. Come here, Panda Express. Uh let's see. Groof the Lucario. Ecumbogum the uh, Siglyph. Uh Cheeks the Granbull. Gyrolock the Golet. Uh Quacklin the Farfetched. Uh Baby Back Baby the Spoink. Nestor the Lapras. Hashtag relatable the chat tot. Lucy the Sableye, Bapo the Wabafet, Blue NG the Trap Inch, Red NG the Trap Inch. <laughs> we did that. Pantamister the Mr. Mime, uh, Rocky the Onyx, Glubble the Gobite, Josuke the Staravia, Neutral Special the Octillery, Samo the Snorlax, Catholic the Amoongus, it's plural, the Polyrath, Deck the Halls the Chimeco, get over here, the Drapion, Hashtag Inflatable the Mantine, Roll the Bulldore, Oh yeah, JK, the Weeping Bell, and Big Heart the Quagsire. Oof. Uh, let's see, highlights of dudes that we fought with. Uh, Glubbel was fun, hashtag inflatable, carried surprisingly well. Get over here was also a big hero. Um, Ikumbogum was a hero for a while. Uh... A lot, of, a lot of psychics, or... Actually, I say hashtag inflatable needs to be there. Alright. Hashtag inflatable, I'll take out Ikumbo, or Zap for now. Actually, hell, we'll put all of these guys down here for now. We can pull them back in uh, if we want. Uh, in a bit, but... Okay, so we need an ice or fairy type. Let's see. Honestly, for ice type, our best bet would probably be Man Bear Pig. Um, yeah, we can keep that if you want. Okay. Man Bear Pig gives us some pretty solid coverage besides, too, with, uh, with Earthquake. Yeah. Let's see, who else is there, then? What level is Lapras? Lapras is level 33. That said, my plan is to do some grinding off-stream, just to get some of these guys up. Um, yeah. Probably try to get people to, uh, like, level 4. 50 at least just so there's uh -huh. just because i figure uh i don't want to drag down the uh, back half of the campaign or, or the the uh final round of the campaign too too much you could bring in curly a two then i guess okay curly it could be fun then I'm trying to think of who all is in the end. Um, that's coverage. That's coverage. That's coverage. And... Okay. So we would be good there. Uh, basically just whoever we want to round off the team then. Let's put in Big Heart. Really? What? Well, uh, what's your What's your thinking? I don't know. He just. I feel like he deserves to be there. Ah. Okay. Okay. I dig it. And like his typing, um, 
even though we already have a ground type and a water type, um, with them together it makes them have weird reactions. I mean, weird interactions. That's like true. Mantine is not weak against grass, so it's that's a little different. That's true. He'd also be an answer for any uh, electric troubles that crop up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then we're looking at Candle Jet, the Chandelure, hashtag Inflatable the Mantine, Panda Express the Pancham, uh, Pangoro by the by the end of this, I'm sure. Man Bear Pig the Mamoswine, Girl the Curlia, uh, uh, Gardevoir, I'm sure, and Big Heart the Quagsire. That looks In pretty good. Interesting lineup. I don't know that I've. Uh, I don't know that I've used any of these in a final team, so this this should be a fun lineup for me. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll have to play with. Uh, I'll play a bit with um, as I'm leveling them. See what uh, uh, what uh, move pools uh, seem fun. But yeah, I will. This is this will be our team then. Do you level up faster if you have less Pokemon in your team? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't, I'll have to I look it up. But Yeah, I, I just don't know if it splits or not because that might... Because there's only like three Pokemon you need to train up. That might make it faster. Uh... Honestly, they're going to gain levels pretty... Um, I want to say they're going to level at a pretty decent clip. I still want to do it off stream just because it's going to be like an hour or so of grinding, but it's really yeah. not going to be that much. I don't think. It looks but fun, though. I will worry about that on my own time. Uh... I know we're running late, but real quick before we wrap up, uh, what, uh, do you have a shining light for this session, Gooms? Um, yeah, uh, I'm actually gonna buy some revives one here. I thought there's a lot of things I could point out, like the, I liked the puzzle, thought it was cute. Um, the ending on a calm, basic note for the final gym is kind of melancholy. I could dig that, but I think the... I, I liked the, um... The kind of melancholy ending for the friends, too. That was a good moment. And, um... Mostly, I think the best is the Pokemon Village, just because it's like, um... Nice little subtle area of just... Kind of a quaint little area at the end of the game. I think that's probably my shining light. It's, it's interesting, they really focus a lot on, um... Or there's really big emphasis on the falling action of this game. Uh, I think yeah. more than other generations. You, you kind of ran into the same sort of weirdness in Gens 3 and 4, where there was such a big focus on the bad guy quest, and then it you solve it, and you resolve it, and then the rest of the game is just kind of a formality. Uh, here they're definitely uh, leading into, or, or they're definitely trying to work with that, with the tone of, uh, well, we've got this stretch of the game left, let's take some time to be grateful that we're all still alive, that we're all still able to, uh, that we've had this wondrous adventure, and that we've been able to exist and run into each other, uh, that the whims of fate have happened to have allowed us to, uh, know each other in, in our lives. Uh, that's, um, I think... Uh, Understanding that that was a lot of the intent of Gen 6 is that idea of the confluence of uh, of characters and of people and Pokemon and such. Uh, I think that's this is probably the truest to form that the game has been to its theme or to that primary theme. 
I agree. This is the first time I've felt like I kind of get what it's going for. And I, I, I think that's a cool idea. And I'm glad that it went somewhere. And it's like after it built up to this big or theoretically big showdown with the Nazi guy. Mm -hmm. um, it's just about like trying to pick up the pieces after that. And I can get behind that even if like mechanically everything is just in theory because it's really, really easy. But what isn't easier or strictly in theory mechanically are the is the inverse battle, which I will pick as my shining light. That's a good one, yeah. Uh, I will give you that too. That was probably the best battle in Pokemon in this game so far. So this was a this was actually a really good session. A lot of nice melancholy moments and actually one interesting mechanically interesting battle. So yeah, I, I wasn't bad. I wasn't sure because uh, I figured hell I didn't think we'd actually hit uh, Wolfric's fight uh, this sesh, but. We got there, and uh, I, I I liked this. I definitely liked this session. This was better paced than most of the routes. It felt like they didn't overdo it with the trainers. There wasn't like too much wild Pokemon to get through. Well, I did kind of skip over like half of um, route. Well, most of those routes actually. I kind of. Not intentionally, but I kind of booked it through a lot of those places. Yeah, I guess. But... Yeah. Still. Well, we're 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 just in ending right now, Dark Knight. So. Well, thank uh, thank you. Glad you could join us for at least a little bit. Uh, always yep. nice having uh, friends to visit. Yep. All right, so. but. Uh, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, next week, we work our way to the Elite Four. Uh, see how far we get to the uh, Pokemon League. Uh, but until then, thank you so much for joining, and we'll catch you next time. Yep, catch you next time.